Alright, well... Inevitably, I do have to finish this game, right? <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't be fair to like the, you know, five people that actually pay attention to the Flora Sky videos for me to at least not get this finished eventually. And in all honesty, I don't really know what finishing this game will entail, right? Because I know after the game, there's like these missions you can do. There's a whole bunch of legendaries you can catch. But like, I don't know. Do I want to do all that? Not really. Will I? Yeah, probably. You know what I could do, right? Is I could just end up streaming this game for like all the post-game content. That might just make it a lot easier to finish. And it would be something that's like pretty pleasant and casual to do. I don't know. We'll see. Anyhow, guys, what's poppin'? <laughs> We're back. Finally, with another Flora Sky video. How long has it been? Probably a month. It happens. Um, I didn't forget to grind the team a little bit, though. As you can see, we have... <laughs> we got how many? We got four Pokemon at 55 or higher. And then we have these two guys. Just kind of, you know, kind of lacking, honestly. I want to give Shaman the leftovers. But I don't know how hard the Elite Four is going to be. I don't really remember the kind of levels we were dealing with. Looks like we have enough items, though, to deal with it. I sure hope, at least. I've got four rare candies. I guess I could use these. Unlike Gengar King Drone friends. Alright, these are even like. Oh, thank goodness, these are like recently upgraded. To, or not upgraded, leveled up. Yes. So we're not going to be, like, wasting experience. Let's see. Let's get both of y'all up a level. Um, I'm going to just get both of these to 57, maybe? Yeah, we'll throw one on Weebile, I guess, to get it to 57. Kingdra is... I'd say Kingdra's pretty strong, regardless. So, oh my lord, seeing all those water-type HMs triggers me so much. So I've got no idea what we're going to be dealing with in the Elite Four. I do not know the typings, I don't know the levels, I don't know anything. But I figure with enough potion spamming, anything's possible. Wow. This actually looks cool as hell. This, this looks like Bertha or Karen from the other games. Let's see. It is Bertha, yep, alright. I noticed her right when I saw the first little text. God, I hate that they showed me the character's front sprite. Oh, that was doomed. You can't lead with Gastrodon! I have no idea if that means that it has Storm Drain or not. But fortunately for me, I do have a Shaman. <laughs> oh, wouldn't it just be dire if I had a Shaman? Wouldn't it be just so unfair? Also, I still have no idea if um, pulling out OBS actually... I think OBS, pulling up OBS actually does make the sound in-game go away, which is kind of funny. But hey, I always get paranoid that the video will accidentally stop recording, which is why I always check. Maybe I should stop. <sighs> I don't think I will. I think I'll continue doing it. Rhyperior. Um, I'm going to go back to Kingdra, just because I'm... I'm gonna try to make sure that my Pokemon don't get like super messed up in terms of how close they are in level. Wow, that. Oh god. <laughs> they didn't give like its head the black border, like they did part of. Only part of its body. Oh, oh no. Yeah, uh. <laughs> that's. That's a miss from me, honestly. I'm gonna say they missed here. Also, I have no idea if Surf will okay. This is in sand. Never mind, it's quad effective. <laughs> wow, that's um that's kinda painful to look at. I don't I don't like what I just looked at. <laughs> Alright, uh, Excadrill's out. Honestly, this probably lives a surf, right? I just have so little faith in this Kingdra, I don't know why. Alright, let's see. 
lowered its head. Is it using Skull Bash? Yeah, that's a powerful move. Also, I'd really like this. Um, Sand. That's this weather. I'll put a sand to wear out. I don't like taking all the residual. Damn. If Excadrill really got, like, Skull Bash in its future, that's kind of unfortunate. I also didn't realize I didn't take the EV Sheriff Kunk Elder. See, now I like this Nido Queen sprite. I think this actually looks clean as fuck, and I don't think that's in any official game. I just. I flinched with Surf. I forgot this move can do that. <laughs> I have no idea why moves in this game have these random um, secondary effects. Doesn't really make any sense to me. Like. Part of me thinks that some moves were replaced, but you know, it's not like Waterfall was replaced, which is originally what I thought. All right, Swampert. Now this looks like a re slightly recolored version of its Gen 4 sprite. I don't know. I get how how do you how you go from that horrible Rhyperior sprite to that pretty decent looking Duda Queen sprite? I've got no idea. I'll take it. This to look nice. Ooh, close combat. I was hoping to learn this. Um, I guess we can just get rid of Seismic, right? Yo, Conkelver actually has a pretty decent move set. I won't, I won't lie. I, I kind of dig what it's got. That was most impressive. Yes, thank you for stealing all of these dialog lines <laughs> from the games that come from much more formidable opponents. You must have your wits about you. Thank you as far as you desire. Mahaha. Okay. Thank you, friend. Alder? You? Wait. So does he even have a typing? Like, for his Pokemon, or is he just gonna have whatever the hell? I also kinda wanna check my TMs, see if there's anything that maybe Kunk Elder could learn. Well, certainly nothing that I want it to learn, so I'm just gonna stop looking. A Deku. Oh, so this was made before the, um, Gen 5 games had their English versions released. Okay. Let's see what a Deku has then. Wow. See, this guy's name is such a throwback, though, back to when people like Pokeaim, Shofu, etc., etc., were doing Wi Fi battles and the like back in early Gen 5. Just because it makes me think of like Hihi Daruma, Randorozu. Um, I feel. I sh. I f sure like used to know what Kung Felder's Spanish not sp <laughs> Japanese name was. Oh god, it hurts that I can't think of it. Oh well. Also this thing is bulky, good lord, no wonder I had one at one point. Oh okay, so it looks like Alder is just a fire trainer in this game, which is what I anticipated because Volcarona? Oh this is faster than me. Oh no. I okay. It's, that is some weak sauce. All right, we're good. Yo, though, these trainers are already getting way too high in level. And every Pokemon on the team is a Citrus Berry, I guess. I don't want to go into Excadrill versus a Fire type. I'm going to go Weavile. Because I at least know it has to go for Outrage here. I can tank that up. So now we can strength this, and Weavile should be able to take it out. Yep, yep. This thing's move pool is absolute just dog, but it could be worse. Flareon, okay. Um, does Excadrill have Earthquake? It doesn't. It has Dig. I'm gonna go to Excadrill just to try to get damage. <laughs> um, this is kind of I'm gonna kind of fodder it off here. <laughs> I don't really see a better play. I don't know. Oh, it's. I didn't realize that would be fat. Well, okay, my X control level 42. I should have expected that. Whatever. We get a timely dodge. I can force some de dig damage. Well, this... How much will it do? Ooh! Well, that's some veteran chip. They call me the veteran damager. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna hyper potion up the Kingdra, right? Let's see. You see where I'm going with this, right? Hyper this po Hyper potion him up. Um, let X... Yo, he dug a hole too. That's kind of mean. Do I have a flying type? I mean, this is a levitator, but like, 
Is it really gonna go well for me? Probably not. <laughs> oh well. I don't remember, did I ever give this psychic? Or do I still have terrible ass hypnosis dream eater? Thank god I gave it psychic. Okay, this is not gonna KO. I am going to get KO'd. That is a Flareon. I yummed it up. Yummy yummy. I'm surprised. Shadow Punch might actually do decent damage. For some reason my Gengar has like comparable physical attack to my special attack. Okay, well that actually didn't do as much as I was hoping for. Um, can I land one? I don't know why I asked. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for even I'm so sorry for even like trying to land a hypnosis. That was kinda rude of me. We've we've seen how that story plays out before. This Flareon's a problem, man. It's just so bulky. And again, I didn't know what level these guys were gonna be at. I thought, you know, upper mid 50s would be fine. I was wrong. <laughs> the champion's gonna have, like, they're already in pretty much competing with my guys for levels. The champion is going to be above my levels. The next Elite Four member is probably gonna be above my levels. Oh no. No, no, no. Mmm, I'm gonna need you to simmer down there, buddy. And they also have items, which is a little dire, because I don't really have a lot of useful items. And I'm not really too sure if I ever had a chance to get any either. I do know that I lose plenty of items to sustain my um, time in here, in terms of recovery, so that's good. And hey, Conkeldor slowly leveling up. Alright, well now there's a blaze again. Oh, he doesn't even have a Volcarona. That's kind of silly. Alright, Oko the blaze again, please. Thank you, thank you. I really did not want to deal with blaze again. I'm on a strong. There we go. We have defeated Fireman Adeku. Not bad, not bad. Listen to what this loser has to say. See now, I know some these some of these lines of dialogue are actually still from Emerald. I think that's what Sydney um said. <laughs> I, oh, why did I go back? I don't know why they gave his line to Alder. I get well, no, I do know it's because he's a champion. <laughs> I guess it'd be a little funny to have some random elite four member telling you all like, yeah, congratulations on winning. Charcoal. Can I? I don't think I even have a fire type on my team. I don't want to check either. So, oh. Well. Um, quick claw. I could give this to someone. Here, I'll give it to Kingdra. It's the slowest thing that I'm actually using. Soft sand? Okay. I, I understand, please. I guess I can give it to Excadrill. I'm never going to be using it, but on the rare, like, chance that I do? At least there's that. And, well, you know what? May as well give the amulet coin to Gengar, right? <laughs> Just in case. Alright, so let's see who we're going up against now. This, this is Faulkner. What? Faulkner? Hello? Okay. Unfortunately, Weavile is just a terrible ice type. Fortunately, I do have Iceberg the Gengar. Ice? What? Dragon Trainers? What? Oh no, this is a ran- no, this is an actual unique character, No! Why is he named Ice but has dragons? <laughs> this doesn't make sense. <laughs> oh no. This will not Oko, right? Oh, can I get a freeze? I cannot. I'm so sorry for hoping for a freeze. I oh, it was a crit. Dirty, dirty bastard. Hit. Thank you. Um, huh. Yeah, this is... Wow, this is gonna be an unpleasant time, because my Kingdra... Um, does not, doesn't have a single, you know, way to hit these. I'm not counting Twister. This will definitely kill the Flygon if it did that much to Drodagon. And the one other, like, slight issue... Is that... Be oh, no, Kingdra. Because I have the XP share on Conkeldur and just don't care enough to take it off. I am losing XP. Okay, so I 
I guess we go for seed flare versus this because we will be faster. This will do a lot. I lied. It did, like, nothing. What? Alright, so watch. Oh, no. This is his leftovers one. Okay. Oh, Dragon Dance. I see. Well, you know. I don't think it can really hit me with anything, right? Alright. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Question mark. With Drew. Alright. Finally. Oh, a Haxorus. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh, if this thing goes for Dragon Dance, I think I lose. Right? I need to switch out, but like, into who? Um, go Weavile. Please don't set up Dragon Dance. Oh no. Well guys, this was a good run. This was a good run. <gasps> you missed Iron Tail. Please hit. Yes! I just need to slow. I just need to slow. That is all I use that for. I just need this thing slower. So long as it's not outspeeding my whole team and, you know, just KOing everything, we're in an okay position. Now this is gonna drop my Weavile. That that was enough to kill like twelve. I think twelve Weaviles were fainting in there, minimum. Yo, if King Jer could have a decent move though, that'd be really cool. I'm going for Psychic, because it should still do decent damage here, right? Hmm. I hope this is good damage. I really do. Oh god, it's not enough. Like hell. Never mind, it was plenty. <laughs> also, I need to check my Gengar's attack stacks. I'm actually really curious about how high it is, because I swear it looked far too high for a Gengar. This was pretty low, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Oh, look at that tactical switch to get the leftovers recovery. That's actually so gigantic brained. Yeah, 117 isn't too bad, all things considered. I mean, it's still not strong enough to offset Psychic. Never mind, it out damages Psychic. Wow, okay, I'm just dumb. My bad for thinking I could do, you know, that much with Psychic. You know what's sad too? I think I need to heal Gengar up here. Because I might need... I'm not using a Max Revive. But I might need it for the last Pokemon. And I... Yeah, I expected this dude to heal here anyway. Why is your name Ice and you have... Why do you have Dragon types? I don't get it. It doesn't make sense. Alright, Seed Flare, how much are you going to do again? Okay, nothing again. Alright. I really hate that Seed Flare doesn't have the potential to drop the special defense. Alright, they set up the rain again. This is the same sequence we went through last time. I don't even think Seed Flare is in KO range room there after Lefties. I don't think it's doing this much. They switch again. Is this a Dragonite? I didn't want to see him. I didn't want to see him. He's going to win. Can I like paralyze this? I can crit it. Oh, he goes for fly. Oh, thank god. Oh, thank god. That's that's not the worst thing I could have seen. Um. Hmm. What is this thing's move set? All right. I was thinking if I had rock tomb on it, I would have gone for it there. Um, Kong Calder, now is your time to faint. <laughs> Good night. Faint, my buddy. Faint! Yes! You have fainted successfully, Kong Calder. Good work. Now we get the free switch in. Oh, this is excellent. Yes. Alright, I'll hit. Thank you. This better KO. Thank you. Thank you, Gengar. You are very appreciated, my lad. <laughs> Alright, and last mon is this Kingdra. Do I need to Shadow Punch this? I don't even think it'll KO. I hate that this Kingdra has lefties. It's so annoying. Alright, KO, 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 KO. Oh my lord, you did nothing. You suck. Yup, can't even tank the Outrage. Terrible Pokemon. 
I, I considered going to Excadrill for XP. I really did. Alright, get your lefties. We're gonna Giga Drain here. It's gonna KO. And everything's gonna be all better. And we're going to. We're not even out of the Elite Four. We still have to face the fourth guy. But we beat Ice. Okay. Alright, that's nice. Alright. And I'm gonna be right back. So I'm gonna pause the recording until I am. All right, we will now continue. Now I gotta heal up this team. Oddly enough, I don't think the amount of difficulty I had on just the third guy means that I can go into the last guy <laughs> with absolutely nothing on my team being healed up. Now see, the question I've got right now is, what are the champions levels? I think they're going to be mid-60s, and I only have four Pokemon on my team. If my entire team was leveled up properly, I wouldn't be as worried. This is that one lady from mid, like Midna Town or something? I don't remember what it's called, but I think she's a ghost trainer. So I guess I'll lead off with, you know, the worst dark type in the game. Yep, Flash. Oh boy. Okay, at least now they copied text from the original game. They just copied, um, what's her name? It's the weird, like, Hawaiian skin girl. Oh, and this is just, um, a veteran from Gen 5, but with a witch hat. <laughs> oh no, and it has a spirit tomb. Oh. End my suffering now. You know, if I actually had Leaf Seed on the Shaman, I would be so okay. I just throw that out versus everything. Oh, no, and this has Protect. Why? Oh, God, and I still have to heal power points. It used Protect and it went through, right? We're seeing the same thing, right? Or did it fail? I'm not sure if I'm seeing the same Oh no, the Chandelure! <laughs> no! I actually did a decent chunk. Alright, we're good, we're good. Oh my... Yo, every everyone on our team has leftovers! I have one! I have one leftovers. Why do you get several? I know it's fine. will don't care, all my moves are special. But unfortunately... We're gaining health back at a rapid rate. Oh, and that didn't even KO. Oh, that is doomed. It's gonna hurt. Never mind. Does Kingdra have just buffed special bulk in this game? I think it does. Also, I'm gonna actually full restore here just because I know she's gonna heal up. And I may as well get my Kingdra back up to full too. You know, you know. If you know, you know. Hmm. I'm actually really curious. How much is my special defense on this mod? Oh, that's actually really high. Why is this over 150? Injure the special tank. <laughs> actually crazy. You know, I wouldn't mind wasting a few of her um, potions, though. Use another one. Alright, never mind. But get her good, this is good. I'm on a scary. Chandelure is what we call a verified danger mod around these parts, you know? Um, I'm on a scary. She's going back to Spirit Team, so I'm gonna go right back to Shaman. It's simple. The Shaman is the counter to the Spirit Tomb. The Spirit World is countered by Shaman, which lives in the Torn World, apparently. So let's test our hypothesis. Did this go through a Protect? Let us see. It does. Okay, Seed Flood just goes through Protect for some unknown reason. And does this have pressure? Oh, it does have pressure. No! Does not matter. KO. Thank you. Okay. I don't even remember seeing it talk about pressure in chat, but I must not be reading. Alright, Egregious is coming out next. I, I guess I go Weavile. Body Press is not a move yet. Body Press is not in the game yet. And I'm just going to assume 
Oh no, you no, why are the arms so close to the body? No. Oh I hate that. I absolutely hate that. I rate that very lowly. Lowly. Whatever. I always forget this move drops accuracy. Ooh, yes, curse. Use curse. Now she's gonna potion up here. <gasps> no, she's not, she got the citrus berry proc. Does Dark Bomb KO this? It does. Ooh. Weavile put in that work. And I think last mon is Banette. Hmm. I also got the Shaman. Banette is like a little bit strong. <laughs> this mod has like base 160 attack or something. I don't know what it is. It, it's very high though. Alright, let's see. Giga Drain, how much does this do? That is that is enough. That that is plenty. No. No, stop. 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 No. Crit, please. Just crit and KO it. Oh, no, no. Alright, come on. Alright, time time to speed. Zoom, 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 zoom. Thank you. Again, I, I just don't have the time to deal with um double team. Oh, that wasn't her last? She has this still. It's a demon. Okay. See, I have a Gengar too. However, my Gengar is definitely slower than hers. So I don't feel like it's really worth going out to. Oh, Dark Bomb's actually a 2 at KO on that. Oh, this might just be a KO on me from this range. Never mind, it's not. Alright. We're vibing? We're vibing? We're KO in the Gengar? Alright, not bad. And we make it to the champion. After defeating Shade, I think her name was. I really can't remember. Right. Flash. Absolutely the opposite. <laughs> you deserve every credit for coming this far. You do seem to know what is needed. Yes, what a trainer needs is a virtuous heart. Pokemon touch the good hearts of trainers and learn good from wrong. They touch the good hearts of trainers and grow strong. Oh, I hate how many words she just said. Right. Oh. They're all the way up here. I need to sell some of these items. Oh, nothing on my team even fainted? Cash. I need to ether some Pokemon up, though. Especially Shaman. I have no idea what... Yo, you know what? The last trainer is going to be that Sky dude, isn't it? I only have one Elixir. Oh, well, I guess going on Shaman. One ether, I'll use it on Kingdra Surf. That should be fine. It's gonna be Sky. Oh. Oh! Oh no! Somehow he. Does this mean. This... English. Does this mean I'm up against another spirit, too? Oh no. It means that you're trying to or any press weaknesses, too, to power you. See, now I love the Gen 3 champion mix, or champion song. But, like, to not have Cynthia with her absolute banger of a theme is a crime. Oh, no, it means she has a Mesprit. Oh, I see. So we have legendaries out here now, don't we? I see. Dark Bomb, that did, like, nothing. That's okay. Reflect, I don't care. I'm gonna go for Icy Wind here just to, like, not drop her into Potion. That did so little. Alright, let's go for a crit. Did not get a crit. So, Reflect, Wish, and then Rain Dance. I don't know what this mon is doing. I'm confused, help. <laughs> I'm gonna just keep throwing off these Dark Bombs, though. Go for another Wish. Let's hope we get the KO here. Because I believe it will not let it pass to the next mon that comes out. Alright. At least looks like the Elite Four is not going to be a whole bunch of mid 60s, though. Or Maldo. Okay, so they just gutted Cynthia's team and did not make it even, like, recognizable. Yeah, what if I go out to Conk Helder and set up bulk ups in front of this Arm Maldo? Let's see. Let's see how well that goes. Oh, it does come out. It's just, you know, a little late. <laughs> a little early, I should say. That has close combat? Why? 
Oh, it does recoil? Hmm. But I've bulked up. I am getting bulky. Pop, 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 pop. That move is really cool. But I'm getting bulkier. I'm getting bulky at an alarming rate, Cynthia. You're gonna need to do something about this. And I heard Malda. I'm assuming it has Swift Swim as the ability. Although I guess I don't know for sure if that's in the game even. She goes for Iron Tail. Yeah, that's so smart. She knows to lower my defense. It's actually cheating. I'm gonna go for CC here. All right. I tank. I yum that. All right. Let me. Smacked. Oh my lord, Conk. Demon. Conk Elder. Taking out the Armaldo. Not bad. Electros. Well, this. Oh god, I hate this Pokemon. I guess I go to Shaman? But this most definitely has every coverage move under the sun. This is why I hated dealing with this Pokemon whenever I would see it. Like, last gen? As you know, you knew you were going to be seeing knockoff, electric move, fire move, and like, whatever grass move. Giga Drain, I think. Yeah. Oh, that did zero, but it went for Thrash. We're in? I think we're in. Go for Giga Drain, because I want health back, and maybe this won't push it into heal range. Eh, maybe it'll get a Citrus Berry. Let's see. Yeah, Citrus. So I believe Seed Flare should KO from this. Alright, cool. Yeah, not gonna lie. The last two Elite Four trainers have not been very difficult so far. Okay, well, she sent out level 66 Mana Face, so... You know. Oh, it has Tail... Oh, oh I see. So you got boosting moves now, huh? Alright. Oh, that. Oh. Okay. So I just need you to not go for an Ice Beam. Oh, that's that's the ideal move for you to go for. Yes. Go for Rain Dance. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Cynthia. That could have been really doomed. Shaman levels up 61. Not bad. And Kong Calder levels up too. Hey. Let's get it. Roserade. Okay, so this is Gengar's time to shine. Her last has to be Garchomp, right? There's no way that they would take away her Chomp. Although I feel like her Ace was probably made to be that Mana Face, so I don't know. How much does this do? A hefty chunk. Okay, if she hit that after I've missed like 40 Hypnosis this series, I've been really depressed. I think I just saw Rotom W. Although I might have misread the letter. I definitely pressed enter a little bit too quickly there. Alright, cash. So they just gave her like two legendary water types and made Cynthia use some weird ass rain team, I guess. <laughs> I don't know why. But sure. You know, I don't need to see this. It. Thank you. <laughs> I don't need to go through that. Hi, right, the champion fallen defeat. Yes. I am now the champion. Thank God we beat Cynthia. Thank God we beat the entire Elite Four on our first try. I didn't even save before any of them. I, I just felt it. Oh, but now here's May. And she's trying to give me some advice. Oh, that's just doomed. Yes. And here's Professor Birch. Huh. Interesting, interesting. Caught 15. Wow. <laughs> oh, but don't worry. I've caught 30 overall. There we go. Come on, Cynthia. Let's just no go away, May. Go away. You suck, May. Yeah. Well, you finally done it. 
it it took far more time than it had any reason to. Absolutely more time than it had any reason to. But we did it. We have claimed the gem. Not the gem, the Elite Four. <laughs> now we can see all our lovely team members. Yeah, you know, we got HM Slave 1, we got HM Slave 2, we got Gengar. We got Shaman, and then we got Nom the two children, Excadrill and Conkelder. Well, I guess now we do face the very interesting question of do I continue this series beyond this point? Or do I just say I beat the Elite Four and that's good enough? At the end of the day, like what I could do is just stream the post game stuff. Because I don't need to give myself an aneurysm figuring out, you know, oh, how am I going to continue building in new teams on stream? when there's, you know, like three days till the DLC drops, and then I just, you know, become significantly less enthusiastic about the whole prospect of even building in you. Because make no mistake about it, the desire for me to play in you in a metagame that's going to be outdated in, you know, like a week and a half, pretty low. Particularly, like, the desire to build. I mean, what, on the 22nd we get DLC 2. And I, I'm probably just preaching to, you know, myself at this point, because I'm not sure how good viewer attention is for this series. <laughs> I don't know if people still watch it this way, but regardless, I'll talk about stuff here. So if you're like the one user that doesn't watch this long, hey, get a sneak peek. But, um, DLC 2 comes out on the 22nd, and so what, that's Golbat and Combuskin for NFEs out of Mons that could be relevant. I expect Golbat to be extremely relevant. Because, you know, it's a good Pokemon. And I expect Combuskin to be at least, like, fringe viable. But everything else, I don't think there's actually any good NFEs coming out beyond those two. At least not that I can think of. So then we'll get November tier shifts about a week later. A little bit over a week. And once we have the November tier shifts, that'll be when things get interesting. But I'd like to at least do some DLC 2 stuff, you know? I don't really know what I would do, because at the end of the day, what all is there to do <laughs> with DLC 2? I mean, unless I want to go play OU, which, do I want to play OU? Not particularly. It's not something that I try to do every, you know, minute of my day. I could do, like, speculation videos you know I saw Joey upload a video on oh he, here's where I predict these Pokemon to land I mean I don't know I could look at just some Pokemon that's coming back in DLC 2 and try to guess how it would do in NU but I feel like that's also kind of overdone part of me just feels like the more interesting thing would maybe be to see how will Pokemon fare in a potential DLC meta? I don't know. I guess that's kind of what I was suggesting anyway, but maybe just looking at Pokemon that already are around. It's hard to say what I actually want to do. All I can say is, thank god I made it through this game, oh my lord. You know, I was actually really enjoying the game at the very beginning. Because I felt that it was a pretty enjoyable time. Also 50 hours, my goodness. A lot of that is because I sped up, but hey. But I enjoyed the game a lot at the beginning, just because I had been meaning to actually play it. And so to actually play through it, I was like, oh, this is kind of entertaining. And then eventually I just realized, oh, this game kind of forgets to tell you where to go next sometimes. Oof. I do think it's a pretty decent game overall, though. I shit on it a lot, but I shit on it out of love, you know? My criticism isn't meant to hurt you, it's, t it's because I care about you, you know? Anyhow, if you are still watching, just know, I don't know what I'm doing with the rest of this game. Because there, there again, there's post-game content, I might just stream me playing it. 
just as a means of going, you know, oh, today I don't feel like streaming, you know, PS, so I'm streaming this instead. So obviously I sometimes stream shit like monotype randbats or just normal randbats. Hey, I don't want to do what I don't want to do. And if I'm just not feeling the mood for PS, maybe this gives me something else to do. I could just upload the streams as, you know, extra parts <laughs> of this. Which, at the very least, could be entertaining. And hey, it would make sh it would force people to... <laughs> it would force people to acknowledge the fact that this series exists, which I find kind of funny. At the very least, I think that's kind of just... Interesting. I know people don't. I think at the end of the day, this gets less views because most people are here for the channel because, you know, lower tier content, fun. But hey, I try to do other things too, just in case people want to see it. And even if they don't, well, if I enjoy it, I'll still do it. I mean, hey, you know, I don't make money off this. isn't isn't a job, and so I don't have to worry about that kind of thing right now, which I do like. Maybe one day I'll have to, but until then. I'll do what I like. Thank you for watching if you're still here. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Monday, Tuesday, W, Friday, Saturday, Q, W, X, Y, Z, um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going on about. Until next time, though, have a good day, and I'll see you then. Peace.